It's Jose SI, you know. It's a Chrysler and a Honda house. This is gonna be the day, cause you know, I got the Honda over there. That's the SE, that's the C. And then this is the, the TL Type S over there. I didn't even know he was a mechanic, guys. Come on, man. I does this. What they call it? D DIY? Do it yourself? You got <laughs> So for those who don't know, obviously you gotta get the tire off. 200s have five, five lugs. One, two, three, four, five. Got all five off. And then there's two screws. There's two screws back here you gotta get off. You gotta get this one on and this bottom one to get the caliper bracket off. Do that real quick. All right, so we got that bolt off. Those two. And then uh, this should come off. Slide right off. Boom. Just like that. Now, place it somewhere so it don't fall. All right, that's good right there. Now we gotta get the whole assembly off, the whole bracket off. So you gotta get off this one and this bottom one down here. I don't know if you guys see that. So it's one. Remember, was it the 17? Yep, 17. Alright, before I take off that bracket, I'm gonna just take these brakes off. So I'm gonna show you how to take these brakes off real quick. Literally, it's real simple and easy. All you do is pull on them from the back, and the way they come out, they come out at an angle. So you just pull them from the back, slide them right out. That easy. So I think these are bad just because they they glaze a little bit. So these might not be good no more. And then you pull the same one with the back from the angle and slide it right out. That easy. So those are the two old rotors, old brakes. Even though they still got a lot of thread on them, they glazed up on the top from the bad rotor. So they gotta get replaced. These are new ones here. See how they not glazed? They're just rough. That's how you want them. If they glaze, when you replace the, the rotors, don't put them back on, no good. So let's finish getting these rotor off real quick. I got one more bolt. Got one more bolt back here. Right. Boom, that's it. That's the other bolt. And that's it for that part. Now, the problem I was having last week. Whoever worked on my car last stripped these bolts right here, these lock screws. So I don't know how me and Jose about to get them off, but we are gonna try. So let me find something. I got my drill. I got my drill, bro, but I don't know if it's gonna work. That's the, that's the M5 hood. All right, so crazy thing is I brought the drill and the battery dying. So we gotta take a ride with SI back to my crib real quick. So we just got other battery. I thought the battery was freaking charged, man, but cool, we about to hop in here, go get this other battery real quick. Man, that's crazy, I ain't been in the front seat of this car. Ooh, look at the, the ooh, look at the shifter, he's fancy. <laughs> got the little carbon fiber, okay. Put my seatbelt on, cause you know you Puerto Rican. <laughs> no, how you drive? <laughs> how you doing, man? You getting that screw out of there? Nah, he's playing with me. Yo. Oh my god, yo, the lock screws is so like corroded in there, we can't get them out. We had to get a drill bit. He's still working on the front, but I got the back out so far. So to do the back, obviously. Hold on, I got 
not that screw out, man. Stop lying to these people. Not not the rotor. I'm talking about the, the caliper. Oh, the caliper? So there's a bolt right here. You got to unloose 10 millimeter bolt. And then you can just open this up and then get, get to the brakes like that. But I want to show y'all these rear brakes real quick. GoPro actually died. So, but we had to go to the store again because we had to get, um, Oh, we had to get some more tools for the back. The, the back takes a different uh, invert, inverted uh, tool to get the bolt off on the back. It takes the inverted tool, so we had to go get some of those. But we got the front done. So y'all can see those, those new new rotors, new brakes on there. On that side, look how bad they look, man. Terrible. Look at how bad they is. Look, they cor corroded like crazy. So what? And then all four of them. All four of the uh, brake pads are, are glazed, so can't use those no more either. But look how much tread left on those still. Or look how much brake pad is still on there. That's crazy. All four of them glazed. It's crazy. It's a waste, but hey, want to drive safe. Can't use them, so. Got this last tire on. All I got to do is tighten these up. And we good to go. All right, that's it, man. We all done. Y'all, I'm telling you. The front, no problem. The rears? Oh, my God. I ain't never doing the rears no more. I'm just taking this to the shop. Because I ain't had the right tools. We kept going back and forth to the store. Man, I'm I'm tired. I'm I'm, I'm beat. Well, that took us about, about two hours. About two hours. But we got it done, man. Rear brakes and rotors. Front brakes and rotors. I like those new rotors though, man. They nice. Just you can't see them, but they just all black slotted rotors. No more drilled. Again, here go the old ones. That's the rear one, front one, front, other rear. He's going crazy. He going crazy. All right, man. But that's it, man. I'm out. You know what? I gotta get a car wash, but. That's it for today, man. I'm out, man. Peace. Jose, we did it, man. It took us hours, but we done. Yeah, I'm happy about this. Man. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. We out, man. Peace.